welcome to the Sea Dragon Slayer. My name is Kira. Thank you so much for joining me. If this is your first time, welcome. Uh, if you're one of my returning viewers, welcome back. I hope everybody is having a wonderful month. Uh, today I'm recording actually a little later than I normally do. It is currently Thursday, um, but I will be posting this hopefully tomorrow morning, Friday morning. So, um, on the note of it being currently Thursday, happy birthday to my dad. Um, so he just had a birthday today, which I got to, uh, video chat with him briefly and everything like that, which is really nice. Uh, in addition to that, I did actually get to spend, um, a bit of time with my family on last Sunday. We all got together and we did like a little mini quilt retreat. So it was a lot of fun. Um, normally in February, um, usually around kind of Valentine's Day, President's Day weekend, uh, there is a quilt retreat that my mom's uh, Florida Guild usually does. And this year, uh, with everything going on uh, as far as like COVID goes, we decided not to attend uh, for obvious reasons. So my sister and I thought it would be fun um, to do kind of like a one one day quilt retreat with uh, her and my mom and my dad. So that's what we did on Sunday and it was a lot of fun. So I got started pretty early. Um, uh, I joined my mom pretty early and then my sister came in a little later since she lives out in Colorado. There's the time difference there. So we got together and I worked a little bit on um, actual like sewing stuff. Um, I actually didn't, wait, I did get my sewing machine out briefly. Um, but my quilt thing that I worked on was my, um, Dresden. So I've been working on, um, making Dresden, um, panels. So I've been doing this for quite some time. I'm really into the um, like the vintage fabrics and everything like that. And they have remakes of these, but actually a lot of these that I am um, using for this project is tr actual like vintage fabric. So a friend of mine, she um, heard that I was really into the vintage um, reproductions and everything like that. And then I really want to make a Dresden quilt. And she actually gave me a whole bunch of like her actual like vintage fabric. So it's it's been a project that has been worked on for quite some time and I'm slowly making progress. It's still gonna be numerous years probably before I get done with that. But I did work a little bit on that, which was nice. Um, I got some more panels kind of ironed out and everything. In addition to that, some other sewing that I did was I made a bookmark. So I don't have it with me right now because it was actually for a gift exchange and I sent it off already, but I'll try to insert a picture here. So I stitched this adorable little Porg bookmark. Um, Porgs being from, um, Star, um, from Star Wars and their latest movie and everything like that. And fun fact, if you didn't know, Porgs were actually designed as an afterthought for the movie because where they filmed it, there was so many puffins everywhere that they just kind of like put CGI skins over the puffins to make Porgs instead of having to edit all the puffins out of the film. So if you didn't know that, that's kind of like a fun fact. Um, I posted when I was working on the Porg um, under February hashtag, I was like, well, I hope a fictional bird counts, but they're kind of fictional, not fictional, because they were, all are kind of like puffins underneath their skins, so, uh, but yeah, so I did that, it was a really fun bookmark, um, the pattern was by, um, personal, uh, personalized designs UA, so I am going to have that link down below, um, so I did that on Sunday, and then, I also um, made a bag to go with the um, bookmark, and I'll put a picture in here. So this was just um, a store-bought a little bag, and then I did a heat vinyl on it. And I, I've seen kind of around the internet the whole Star Trek thing, like make it so, um, kind of as a pun on 
when when he would always say like make it so like whatever they were gonna do uh, so I designed that and put it on and uh, sent it off so actually the person um, already rece received it and she messaged me and she was thrilled with with everything and she absolutely loved it she's a huge um, space uh, space um, genre fanatic so she really likes both Star Trek Star Wars kind of like the whole gamut of them so she really really enjoyed it which I'm glad um, they were definitely fun to make so I did that on Sunday in addition I also got some stitching done so yeah let's go ahead and get going um, since I am recording this late I'm gonna try to keep this video kind of short um, just so I can get it edited and uploaded and everything like that. Um, in addition to that on Sunday, what else I have been doing, another life update, is I, um, my fiance and I, we went to Gatlinburg. Uh, we went to Gatlinburg, Tennessee. It was the first weekend of February and it was really nice. So we rented a cabin, um, with two other couples and it was a fun trip. The weather, the weather was really nice actually. So we got there Thursday night and there was still a little bit of snow left from like a snowstorm that they had the previous Monday. Uh, but then it kind of all melted. So Friday and Saturday when we were actually like out and about doing stuff, it was, it was really gorgeous weather. There wasn't really any snow. It wasn't too cold. The sun was out. It was really, really nice. And then super, super early, Sunday morning it started snowing so we got some snow and everything Sunday before we left and I was really excited about getting some snow because I brought with me some dye and stuff to do some snow dye so I've done ice dye before in the past and um, I really wanted to do some snow dye especially since like we were on vacation and I usually like to do some sort of cross stitch relation that like when I look at that, I was like, oh, I did that while I was on vacation, regardless if it was like starting a new pattern or making fabric or something like that. So I was really excited that it actually snowed on the very last day and I got some snow dye done. So what I did was I did this really, really little piece. Um, this is 28 count even weave. And I used um, Rit Powder Dye. I did Kelly Green and Teal as my colors. And I think it turned out really nice. So I did this and then I also did um, some Ada, which took the color a little bit better. Um, but my Ada I actually did for my pen pal. Um, so she should be, spoiler alert, sorry Claudia, but um, she should be getting that uh, soon, hopefully. Uh, but I did those and since it was kind of like a special die I wanted to make a tag so I used this nifty little um, uh, paper punch that my sister got me a long time ago and I made tags for them so I decided to call it lucky days are coming because I dyed it with the intention of like March coming and March St. Patrick's Day and all that kind of fun jazz so that's what I named it, and then I also put that um, it was snow dyed in Gatlinburg, Tennessee. And then on the front of the card, I used my stamp to um, stamp a calendar and to highlight the actual day that I did it, and um, to put the year and everything like that. So I'm not sure. I don't have a project plan for this, but now when I go to um, kind of pull it out and figure out what I want to do with it, I'll have all that information so that fun little reminder of where I dyed it and how I dyed it and everything like that so um, yeah so that was it was a lot of fun it was a really nice trip um, the weather like I said the weather was gorgeous the company was amazing it was always it's always fun hanging out with those people so in addition to that fabric my mom sent me a happy mail package and she sent me some fabric that she dyed and she did um, she did an ice dye but she's in Florida so obviously they didn't have snow um, well not obviously it occasionally can snow up in the panhandle but um, she did an ice dye and this is hers 
And this is I said on 28 count even weave and she used um, Dylon powder dye and um, she used the colors Bahama blue and sunflower yellow. So this is just gorgeous. Again, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. So I did make a little card and um, she didn't know what to call it. So on Sunday when I was showing off to my sister too, I was like, what should we call it? And my sister said it looked kind of like, um, like algae, like really pretty algae. So we decided to call it algae. And then I put on the tag that um, it was ice dyed in Florida and the color dyes that she used and that it was dyed by LaJean Dobbs, which is my mom. So I also put mom on there so that I will remember too. So yeah, I got that piece of fabric as well. And it's like, I feel like I have all these projects I'm working on and now like I'm accumulating fabric. So I just need to like start more projects, <laughs> but I'm trying to kind of get some things done before I start some more projects. But in addition to, excuse me, okay, I thought I was going to sneeze for a minute. My allergies were horrible. When I was in Florida, I used to get allergy shots and then I moved up here and then I had to stop getting allergy shots because it's a whole new doctor place that I'd have to get tested again and I don't really feel like getting stabbed over 200 times again. But um, yeah, I have really bad allergies. <laughs> But, um, sorry, it's going to be a little bit like a random hyper energetic roller coaster right now. But, uh, yeah, so speaking of fabric, um, I'm getting lots of fabric because I've dyed some fabric, my mom dyed some fabric, and then also this year I am participating in a Fortnite Fabrics Fabric of the Month Club. So, if you're not familiar, Fortnite Fabrics, um... The creators are uh, from the Floss Tube, Married with Stitches. Um, I'm blanking on their names right now. I just watched their newest Floss Tube today. But uh, um, Christian, yeah, I'm blanking on their names. Married with Stitches. Again, I'll link both their Floss Tube down below as well as their shop. So they recently started Fortnite Fabrics, which by recently, I think like a year or so ago, and they do Fabric of the Month Clubs. And they have a couple different ones. And the one that I joined for 2021 is called Expensive Rich. And the main reason why I joined that one specifically is because the Expensive Rich, and the reason why it's called that is because it's all opalescent fabric. And I love opalescent fabric. I just love how it looks. I love the, the way it just like really just makes makes the piece, I feel. Um, I'm currently stitching my Dark Queen of the Sea on some opalescent fabrics. I love it. I love it. Um, I actually haven't worked on that project, so I don't have that to show off right now, but I do have the February Fortnite fabric to show to you. So, pardon the crinkle. And if you have not received yours, which is the end of February, so you should have, um, but post. I mean, it's, <laughs> the post is going postal. Uh, I don't know when you're, how your mail is or whatnot. So if you haven't received it, if you haven't watched Married with Stitches floss tube and seen it, um, and don't want to be spoiled, glance away for a few seconds. But this fabric, um, it is called Two Commas and it is gorgeous. Yes. This light is not doing it justice. When I first saw it, I was like, ooh, like it looks like cotton candy. It's a little bit better. Um, the sad thing with like my camera and everything like that is you can't really see the sparkle as well. But this fabric is just gorgeous. Again, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it, but I love it. <laughs> And I mean, I don't, I don't honestly have that big of a stash of fabrics, so I, I think this is fine. Maybe I'll like just do for one year and then try to use it up and then skip a year and maybe do another fabric of a month, another year. But I just, I can't get over how amazing this turned out. Um, like I said, the camera's not doing it justice. But it is gorgeous. Um, definitely reminds me of like cotton candy of sorts. 
So I really, really like that. So that was another little like happy mail that I got, um, which is always really exciting. Uh, so in addition to more happy mail, my mom, um, I just got the package today, sent me two hand towels. So this is one. So this is, um, she stitched on, so it's mostly like applique, but then the spider is made out of, they're called yo-yos. Um, so it was really popular, like, um, a while ago, like, when I was a, when I was a kid, and probably, like, even before then. So they're, like, this tool that you use, and you kind of, like, gather the fabric around, and you stitch it around, and you make, like, these things called yo-yos. And, um, people, like, do everything with the yo-yos. They'll, like, put it on, like, an applique and turn it into, like, a critter or something like that. And I've also seen people who, like, really got into yo-yos and have made, like, whole quilts out of, like, just those yo-yos. But they're really cool because they are, like, kind of 3D um, and everything like that. So she made me a spider. And then she also made me a super cute pumpkin one. So they're really nice little um, kitchen dish towels and everything like that. So I'm excited to use those. They'll probably go away until fall or, or um, Halloween, but anyway, they are really adorable. So I really enjoyed that. And another happy mail I got was from my pen pal, Claudia. So I got my February gift from her and I'm going to actually insert a picture here of it. Um, because my, so she made me a brooch, um, and it's really, really, really pretty. And I wear that quite often, so it's actually in the other room. I forgot to take it in here with me. And then she also um, made the card, and she actually stitched that heart, um, which I have like hanging up, and I didn't take it down um, because I really like where it's at. I don't want to like keep taking it off and on the wall and everything like that. So I have that hanging up. And then she also um, sent me a really, really pretty floss pack. So and um, some, some little temporary, uh, some uh, stickers and stuff. So yeah, I really enjoy the package. I love it. I love, I love getting happy mail like that. It just, it really makes my day. It really does. Especially when it's stuff that like other people make for you um, or things that like I wouldn't necessarily get myself, but I definitely appreciate and love it. So, and kind of working backwards. So let's get into some stitchy stuff that I have. So, um, February was, well, today's, when you're watching this last, last Friday in February, um, February. So Jesse from Miss Late Pages coined the term February to have people st stitch on projects that had birds in it. So I had all these grand plans of all these bird projects that I was going to do and as with most grand plans it didn't really pan out a whole lot but um, I did get my porg done so the bookmark that I showed off earlier um, I counted him for February Berry and then in addition to that I um, with my mom's help made a flamingo bag and I also added a little flamingo charm so I made this wonderful flamingo bag to house my flamingo projects. So I have two flamingo projects. The one is currently not in here. I have it in my filing cabinet because I just didn't get it started. And that is the Fleming Flamingo Bells, um, which is part of a series that uh, Jessie from Miss Lay Pages does have on her site. But the other pattern that I currently have in there is my fancy flamingo pattern. So I don't really have actually any of the bird done, <laughs> but I do have some of the grass done. So this was a kit that um, my pen pal had sent me for Christmas, I think. Um, yeah, for Christmas. And I just, I love flamingos. It reminds me of my grandmother and everything like that. Um, and this is what I thought was going to be a really quick and fun project. Um, it is a fun project. It's just turning out not so quick because... The flamingo, I'm not sure if you can tell in the picture, is like all confetti. So I think there's like six different shades of pink. Um, so it's definitely um, 
something that I have to concentrate more on than I thought I was going to. But I did get the grass done, so I am actually started. Uh, and then hopefully I will just keep on working on it. And it is nice, it's kind of small, it's compact. Um, it's an easy project to kind of take with me. So I was working on that for February. And then one of the patterns that I purchased specifically for February is a pattern that I'd wanted for a while, I think since the first time I'd seen it. Um, and Jessie from Miss Lay Pages actually had it on her site. So I ordered it from her and I also got the floss from it. So I talked about this last video. But this is a Beach Dance it's by Lindy Stitches. And so far, I got kind of like the border measured out. And I got the sand done and two of their feet done. And I got a little bit of the body done. So I am using some uh, linen that I had just in my stash because I've never worked with this type of fabric before. And I didn't want to buy something um, specifically for it. Uh, but this is 32 count. And I'm just kind of concerned. So I don't have a lot of the body done. But this is the majority of their body is that color. And I'm just kind of concerned that it's blending in too much. Um, I'm kind of like committed committed to it. Um, I do like the color. I think the colors work really well. It's just I'm contemplating if I'm going to need to back stitch it. Um, and if I do what I should, how, how I should go about doing that, like with what colors. So we'll see. Um, because they do also have lighter heads. And I mean, in their pattern too here, like their heads definitely blend in with the background a bit more too. So I don't know. I'll see. Um, it's just definitely making it really difficult to see to stitch. But um, I am enjoying it. I'm really excited that I was able to at least get this far on it um, as of right now. <laughs> I do actually plan on stitching on this um, tonight after I finish recording. So I am enjoying it. It's really adorable. I love this pattern. Um, I'm a huge fan of this pattern. So yeah, I'll probably be asking for recommendations further down the road when I get to the point where I'll be ready to possibly backstitch that. Um, Cause I don't know, like the, the colors work really well together. It's just, I feel it blends in a lot. Um, let's see, in addition to that, that was all for my February aviary. Oh, that was, that was all. I had other plans, but that was all. Um, however, I did get a little bit done on this project. So I finished the tree. So this is um, called There's No Planet B. It's by Clouds Factory. And it's their stitch along. So it's a year long stitch along. And a pattern drops um, the first of every month. And so they are currently obviously have pattern two dropped. Pattern three will be dropping on the 1st of March. Um, so I am still currently working on part one. Uh, part one also has more grass and there's a black footed ferret. And then part two um, has a rhino. And I'm trying to think of the other animal. Oh, and an otter. Um, so I think it's a black rhino because I think those are the endangered. So all of these are going to be endangered species. So I think it's a black rhino and I think it's the river otter. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, but I'm really enjoying it. So this I am actually stitching on 22 count uh, Ada. And I am stitching two strands over one. Which was, in hindsight, probably a bad idea because it is difficult. It is thick. Um, it's warping it a little bit, but not too too much for concern, I feel. But, um, I don't know. I, I'm really liking how it's turning out. I know it's hard to see in the camera. Um, but it is turning out like really, really smooth, really nice and everything like that. It's just, it's taking some time to stitch. So I'm working on that. It's really cute though. I love it. I love it. Um, I'm excited that I learned about this pattern. 
Um, so yeah, so this is There's No Planet B by Clouds Factory. And I don't really see actually a lot of people working on that one. So that is, that is a really fun pattern I enjoy. Um, I know uh, DNA Geeks Craft, she's working on it because she's actually the one who mentioned it that I knew about it. So yeah. And then my last stitch project that I am currently working on, um, my whip work in progress, um, that I actually put some time into, was my Frosted Pumpkin Christmas Wreath Stitch Along. So, um, sorry, I'm not going to take it out of the cue snap because I do probably, I plan on working on it soon. Um, my mom made me this lovely grind guard. Uh, so, pattern, part three has dropped. Um, so this pattern, what I like about it too, um, besides the fact that it's absolutely adorable, is that the patterns drop kind of mid-month. So it doesn't really conflict with a lot of other things. So I get some time to like focus on it and everything like that. Um, so part one was the house and the bow. Part two is essentially everything else minus, um, minus the blue. So I'm working on the blue ornament right now. Um, and then in addition to that, there's a little bit more wreath and there's going to be a Santa um, up farther, which I'm really excited about because so I was seeing some people posting when they're working on this that they did the, um, what is it called? Fairy, fairy floss, the fluffy um, thread for Santa's beard, and I think that's a great idea, and I really want to kind of jump on board. Kind of scared about it, though, because I know how difficult metallics are to work with, like just kind of specialty threads in general, and I'm not too sure how difficult the fluffy thread is. Um, I do have a, a friend um, who has worked with it before, and she said it's not bad at all, but she's also like an amazing artist, so, <laughs> I don't really trust her a whole lot, but what's your guys' opinion? Have you ever worked with the, the fuzzy, fuzzy thread? And if so, um, is it really difficult? And if it is really difficult, is it worth it? Um, because, I mean, if it's worth it, then I'll probably still do it, even if it is difficult. Um, but yeah, so I have that to work on. So this is my stitch along that I am trying my best to keep up on. I cut it really close last month <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to be cutting it close again this month, but I do enjoy it. I really like it. It's a lot of fun. Um, Frosted Pumpkin always comes out with super adorable cute patterns. So that is that. And then let me just kind of look over here at my notes because I made kind of like an itinerary and notes. And then I had dinner and I was like, I'm going to go record real quick so I can like upload this because it literally takes like 72 hours to like edit and upload and I wanted it uploaded and ready for you guys to view first thing in the morning. So, I mean, take that into consideration. That obviously doesn't calculate out right. So I'm not sure when you guys are going to be watching this. Hopefully it's at least on Friday. Um, so I came up with a thing and obviously then I didn't follow the thing. But that's almost it. Um, oh, I do have one more FFO, which stands for Fully Finished Object, that I did make. And it's adorable, and I think I'm going to be sending it off to a special someone. I was going to bring it to work, and I was like, yeah, I think my special someone would, would appreciate it long term more. But, it's almost March, so... I made, I'm holding up against this pretty blue too, this. So I did the cross stitch, um, which is this part here. So this is all cross stitched. It's a four leaf clover pattern. And then I got the wooden um, rainbow from, from Warwick, from Michaels. And I painted the rainbow and then I just used um, some eye hooks and a uh, shish kebab skewer. To, to then hang my cross stitch on it. So I really, really, really like how, how this turned out. Um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So that is probably going to be going off in the mail shortly. Um, but yeah, so I did have a really nice FFO. In addition to the bookmark, the bookmark was an FFO as well. So 
Um, I did actually get, I think, a little bit more done in February than I had thought I did. Because, I mean, it's a short month and things have been crazy, <laughs> but things have been good. Uh, so yeah, that is about all. Um, plans for March is just keep on working on all of my current whips. Um, I'm not really going to set too many goals because it's going to be whatever I feel like whenever I have time to type thing. Um, I do plan on, uh, I've been contemplating about rearranging my craft room for a bit now. Um, but I don't know how because I think currently my layout is probably the best way to be laid out to utilize the space and its maximum potential. But I'm also kind of like ready for rearranging because <laughs> that's what I do. But we'll see. I'll probably, uh, we'll see. I will probably tear it to pieces and then let it sit like that for a few weeks. And then, I don't know, invite somebody over to the house for company and then frantically get it all cleaned for company because otherwise I won't get it cleaned. <laughs> but yeah, that's about all. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I will see you again at the end of March, uh, if not before then, but definitely the last Friday of March. I will be recording another video and hopefully I have more to show to you guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope all is well. Stay safe. Stay warm. I know a lot of places got some really, really harsh weather recently. Um, my pen pal and everybody else who's on the other side of the world, stay cool because I know it's definitely really hot over there too. Stay dry because I know you guys are getting a lot of rain as well. Um, but in general, just Stay safe, stay happy, stay stitchy. <laughs> Have a great one, guys. Until next time, bye.